Well, folks, I'm on the road today. I'm in the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area. My wife had to go to a business meeting, her and another manager. So I said, I'll drive you down, since they never drove this way, and uh, Goodwill. So I have to keep myself busy for about six hours. And I said, oh, that's all right. I'll scope out uh, the thrift store. So first time in this one, let's go in and see what they got. Straight out of the drill. Three ninety nine. That looks pretty. Pioneer Express. Let's look that up. Three ninety nine. I'm gonna look that up. That looks pretty nice. I was looking at those plates. I recommend it. I was looking at these plates. But one of them is chipped. So I'm going to pass on that one. Classic jump rope. Cabinet lock. A lot of stuff at this one. I noticed the housewares much, much bigger. Well, I just got done. It was in that Goodwill for actually an hour. Now, I think I found a lot of good stuff. Problem is, the music was so loud, and there was so much stuff that not wearing a GoPro and using my camera phone here, it makes it difficult. So, I really got to get my GoPro out and start doing that, because I honestly got 20 items, which I'm going to show, and... Um, didn't have time to do this and that. Again, fighting with the music. So, uh, I got some time to burn. So, I'm going to actually get some lunch here. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the stuff that I got. But I, I think I did pretty good. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm going to get a pizza at Domino's. 12-inch pizza, 15 bucks. I was like, no way. $15 for... I mean, it's like a personal... If it would have been like 10 bucks, I would have got it, but no. Nah. I know I can eat it, but that's not the point. Man, the prices of stuff is just getting ridiculous. All right, well, I thought I saw. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's T-Mobile. I thought it said Firehouse Subs. Huh? I'm going to maybe look for a sandwich place and get a sandwich. All right. Okay, folks, I am at the Goodwill number two. Look at that Carnes food. Looks like a, sort of reminds me of like a raceway or, you know, with all the flags up there and stuff. But I got like three hours to, maybe I might even, what if that movies is open? Maybe I'll go over there and watch a movie for two hours. That'd be good. Hey, 12 bucks or something for a movie. But I'm going to run into this Goodwill real quick. See if I can, hey, who knows. 
Wish me luck. All right. I'll kind of show you. Hopefully their music ain't loud. I spotted this shirt. I don't know. Edwards. I love Hawaiian shirts. How much? Four ninety nine. dollars oh. That's like a company shirt. Nike. Toy Story. What do we got here? Alice. That's brand new, that one. $26.95. Shop Disney. How much are they asking for it? $6.99. You know what? Captain America? Another Disney one due with tags? Oh, there's a score. Twenty bucks. Tough Mudder. Tough Mudder 2013. Oh, that's what I should get. And I could say that I finished it. Yeah, right. Epic fail. Pac Man. I love Pac Man. Three dollars and fifty cents. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna get it. Anybody need any skivvies? Here's your skivvies. White Hanes skivvies, I call them. So you can see, I'm here. Jesus. Wow. Shoes galore. I don't know if there's anything good here, but. Oh, look at how worn out those are on the bottom. Like that, uh, what kind of bag is that? Looks like a fancy bag. These are cap shoes. Ah. Yep. Fifteen bucks. No name brand, right? Can't see anything. They're definitely tap shoes. They look pretty good shape. Ooh. In pretty good shape. They're dirty. Hey, just look these up. Now they're asking ten bucks for these. But they don't brand new they have ones on there for thirty five. So there's just no money. It's a shame. So far as far as reselling. Oh my god, look how dirty those are. Damn. Jeez. A lot of Christmas stuff. Glass.
being a little cheap stuff at Burger King. That um, movie theater actually didn't open till four o'clock, so I put it came to Burger King. So chicken sandwich, burger, drink, seven fifty. All right. Well, I never been never heard of this community aid neighbors helping neighbors. So I typed it into Google Map. Hero Day is now Mondays. And I said, I'll check it out. So let's go. I'm going to show. They got music on too. Just got to not stand underneath the speakers. Well, yeah, that's right underneath the speakers. Jeez. What's been? Okay, folks, I'm actually back home now, and I'm recording this about a week later after I picked all those things up down near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, that trip that day was roughly six hours back and forth, and then I had about five, six hours in between while my wife for the company that she works with and another employee that I took, another manager, was in a manager's meeting uh, for the company that owns several hundred locations of uh, gas stations and convenient marks and restaurants and stuff like that. So um, my concern was that day because the weather was bad and um, my wife is not good driving in busy areas, I thought. And I told her, look, I'll, I'll just source uh, a new place. And I did go to the Goodwill. Now, here I am again about, uh, I would probably about 10 days later. And I've been sourcing a lot the last two weeks. Now, we even had, yeah, we had snow that day when we went. So um, it's been a lot of running around. And what I am trying to do always, and a lot of us that source have the tendency to source and create a pile. And then three months later, we're looking at it and we're not listing the stuff. But to be to to be honest and really be clear with everybody, I have a setup here in the garage, and um, I've been cleaning out the one side of the garage. And now that the weather is not as bad, the wife is parking outside until we get really that we could take the table here. And what I'm trying to do is take pictures off this uh, nice wood table. And then stuff that is safe that could, will not get damaged from any temperature could stay in the garage, you know, really creating, instead of using the garage for storage, really using the garage to uh, process stuff, take pictures, and 
you know, ship and, and just really give you guys uh, updates on the stuff that I'm buying. Now, is it, you know, pretty? Is the background a little messy? Of course. Um, with that being said, um, are you a YouTuber or a reseller? Well, as you can clearly see, I mean, I'm near 4,000 subscribers and I could use your help, but uh, I'm more of a reseller than I make revenue-wise more money doing reselling the, a, a lot more than doing uh, YouTube. Uh, you know, the YouTube is pennies per video unless you really start getting up into the 50,000 area. A couple hundred views is not doing nothing. Um, I'm sharing my experience with you guys as a reseller and really honestly what we go through without having that YouTube income. So it is important to me and it sometimes has been the focus to share my journey and make videos. But with that being said, I need to, if I'm, if I'm making, for example, three thrift stop shops, say that real fast, and I'm spending, let's say, $300, $400, and accumulating a lot of stuff. I mean, that's, you know, that kind of money in a thrift store, if you buy right, is a lot of stuff and has the potential to at least double or triple or sometimes on some things quadruple, you know, but at least double or triple my money. So if I, I got basically, like me, I put out probably $400. I have three loads right now that I went, and the one we ran in, I don't even think I recorded in, so that, that's another thing, is keeping the, the places straight, and um, which and when you're kind of holding this last stop in Harrisburg, I had so much, it was always sometimes hard to hold the phone and kind of walk through and fight the background music and stuff like that, but again, wanting to give full disclosure and be honest, and 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 show you the stuff because that has been sometimes they said an issue before in the past that people said oh we saw you went there but we didn't see the stuff that you get even though i pointed it out and maybe put it in the cart so what i've been trying to do is get the stuff list it and throw a couple comps up uh, uh at the top for the souls not just the listings now everything do i buy is it something that is a home run. No, I mean, uh, so, so, sometimes I buy, even once in a while, I buy stuff I keep for myself. And um, at, at sometimes the price is so cheap and right that I'm like, ah, you know, if it's $2, I like it. Who cares? Worst case scenario, I lose $2. It's it's sort of like a scratch-off lotto ticket. So let's get in, and I'll show you what I got. And uh, I do appreciate your support and... and um, I think as the weather gets better, I'm going to basically, because it makes it easier for me to actually, what I go that day, film and um, show you the stuff and list all, it, it, but it gets to be a long day, when, especially when you're driving six hours. That was a 12-hour day for me. Uh, so that was a long day. Then to come home late at, and then have to list, I was like, you know, we had other things to do, you know, you got, you, plus you got your regular life to do and, you know, car issues and like me, like we're having to get ready to cut the grass and stuff like that. But it has been cold and damp here in Pennsylvania. So, but I, I, I I've been definitely motivated. I'm not unmotivated to do uh, YouTube. I am. I'm more motivated. But I, I've been trying to do about two or three videos a week. But you know, when you're a smaller channel, sometimes uh, I don't think you want to do them so close because you got to give people a chance to see what you're doing, and, um, you know. So there's going to be a bunch of different things I do over the next couple months, uh, sourcing trips and show you some unique places and some, you know, good guests. And uh, I hope you I hope you enjoy it and support me. So, all right, let's get into it. And if I missed something that you saw in the video, I, I apologize. But um, actually, I picked up this uh, foghorn, and, I, and I'm going to try to see if I can... Uh, um, this is a salt and pepper shaker. It, I picked it up. It says two ninety nine. It, it was so damn. And I could picture his voice. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, edit his voice over there. Uh, his voice was so. Uh, and I and I can't even imitate it right now. Cause but I but yeah I can hear it in my in my head. So. <laughs> So, 
Foghorn Salt and Pepper Shaker, two ninety nine. dollars Honestly, it's got to be worth $10, $12. Bucks. That's rough guess. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I got this bag of uh, Matchbox cars. There's, there's about 20, 30 cars in there. And, hey, sometimes the right Matchbox car could be $5, 10 So who knows? Uh, I paid 5 bucks for the whole bag. Um, this Walt Disney World it says, uh, m official mug. It says dad actually on the side. So I got that. I'm a Disney fan, so I knew that. This was a, uh, I haven't been doing very well with plush, but this is the la uh, lamb, um, and the, it's, uh, We Believers. We Believers is the brand name. I don't buy any plush that doesn't have a name brand. I, like, I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, just made, you know, it's got to be something that, you know, people, um, you know, it's a name brand. Got this. I, I mean, I like Christmas myself, and I thought this was a good gift. This is actually handmade in Poland. This is, you know, obviously something that you put around probably on a table at Christmas time uh, and put uh, mints in or something like that. Or, you know, so it's it's a nice Christmas decor th um, item. A again, and this was, this was three bucks. You know, is it worth a lot? No, but, you know, it's all right. Sometimes even those $3 items that you could turn into... This I got, this is a Route 66 Pioneer Express uh, bag. Uh, I paid four bucks for it. It's like a, sort of like a refrigerated cooler or makeup bag or something like that. And, um, you know, again, and and look, and, and this is why I show you. I'm, I'm not, everything I'm buying is not home runs. You know, I mean, here I got five, eight, uh, 12... 15 with the bag about 20 bucks into this those four or five uh well, let's see one two three four five items but i should i should easily be able to to at least get my money back and keep a couple things so but um i'm really starting to look into some new different things and that's where the next video i went to another goodwill and that goodwill in the past didn't treat me too good but um Boy, it did this time. I think I dropped 130 bucks. One item alone uh, should cover all my money. So I got these polo, uh, and the treads are good on the bottom. These are polo zip-up boots. Now, I did know that I did look these up in the store, and um, we're talking about $60, $70 for a pair of boots that I paid uh, $11 for. So really... Uh, forty fifty dollar profit on those. Um, the next item I got, and I, I'm a former cook, used to be a restauranteur, and I always like a good welded handled pot. So this was a select, um, Capahalian. I'm probably saying it wrong, messing it up, but a great uh, pot with a lid, and uh, this these typically sell for twenty five thirty dollars. Paid five bucks for it. I'll, I'll do my best right here to put comps because I did look up some of this stuff. I'm not going to, um, Arnita, Arnita, another, uh, strong pot, good shape. Basically only, only needs a little, little cleaning. Another $5 pot, uh, that I, uh, picked up that good quality stuff like that. You can get 25, 30 bucks. Another good frying pan. By the uh, matches the first one. This was only four bucks. This is like another twenty dollar. Good, good quality cooking stuff will uh, easily. Now here is a sealed VHS America in the in the forties, and um, eh, for the it, it was three bucks, but you know typically I pay forty nine cents for used ones, so that would have been a buck fifty for three. This was three bucks, but I still think I could. Uh, at least sell that for fifteen dollars. Um, let's see what I got here. And I got two bags here, and I'll show you one of the bags you saw in the thumbnail. They don't have bags now, so they're oh, IHOP. Um, IHOP coffee mug. I know these go for uh, twelve, fifteen dollars. So that that's good. I had to look at my, someone just messaged me 
it was funny. I just told my wife that our electric bill is going up. And while this was recording, some guy I know messaged me and said the electric's going from eight and a half cents, so our electric's going up fifty percent. So yeah, this was the bag I paid a dollar fifty for, and uh, I filled two or three of these bags. Here's a, a juicy couture. Um, it's just a box, but uh, it was only two bucks. It's easy to ship. You know, maybe maybe somebody again, not a big money maker, first class mail, something about an eight to ten dollar profit. Some of this stuff is really jammed in here. Oh, these plates, um, ancho anchovy, uh, um, is that anchovy or artichokes maybe? But I've been doing much better with plates. Um, I'm finding that, man, when you could pick up a plate for 50 cents or a dollar and you could find at least two or four or even sometimes eight uh, and, and you're getting uh, eight to ten dollars a plate, that's a good return. I mean, you're, you're talking like eight, eight times your money and you could charge for shipping. So, all right. Sorry if I'm going a little slow here. I should pick the pace, I guess. Um, a cow pack of calculators brand new in the pack this was a shelf system you put a board was the right price um, this is a video transfer you plug this to your camera or your VCR or your game and, and hook it up to a computer um, it can edit and uh, it's in the pack brand new the box is open at the end, but you can see it's in the five bucks I paid. They go for around, uh, brand new, they go for around $40. So this was a unique pot that I found, and I did a um, um, Google Lens search for it. And um, again, it's probably about a $25 item that I paid two bucks for. Here was a brand new Cat's. CD book, you know, over 800 screens of pot, 30 videos, 600 images, a unique 3D virtual museum to explore about cats. Uh, three, again, it might only be a $20, $25 item, but I, I don't mind sometimes. Um, here is a bagel chopper, and uh, bagel choppers typically go for around $20, $25. Bucks. Uh, the box has a little edge, but I looked at it inside the box. It looks like maybe, let me see, I don't remember. Yeah, no, it's still sealed. It's not even open. All right, so there's that. Let me pause and I'll be right back. Okay, bag number two. Um, I found this. Uh, this is from the Adventure Newport Aquariums. I don't know, alligator or crocodile, but nice plush. I'm sure like this plush at the at the park was probably 25, 30 bucks. It's in great shape, no stains, it doesn't smell. And um, if you're an alligator or aquarium fan, it, it's cheap to ship. I mean, honestly, three bucks, I should be able to get 25. I like those numbers and, and we're talking even five bucks shipping. I'll pick up sometimes some books. The books were a little dollar ninety nine. It says, but it, uh, the Godfather Returns, that book, uh, House of Robots, dollar ninety nine. Get not a big money maker on some on on these books, but uh, and then Nancy Drew. So honestly, six dollars into approximately twenty twenty five. I'll tell you how much I paid, because here's, here's the receipt. Is that the receipt for everything? Yep. And uh, here is a Hello Kitty CD radio. I actually, when I was up in New York at the uh, Lake George uh, largest garage sale, 
I picked up one similar to this and sold it for 50 bucks uh, just a couple months ago. So I paid seven dollars for this. The only thing is the antenna is a little bent, but these antennas screw off, and you can replace the antenna for like five bucks. So that's not a big deal. And um, I think this says it says 1976, 2013. So 1976 is probably the invention of Hello Kitty. And in 2013 is when the radio was uh, made. Now these, and this will be the last that I show you, figurines that I got. And from what I understand, yeah, if I read right, and um, brought my friend Brian, Mr. Buys a lot, told me he had some uh, of these and sold. But uh, these are the Thomas, is it Thomas Kincaid? Let me, let me look here. I think so, Thomas. Uh, this artist that did these uh, um, figurines, these typically, these again, are not real big money makers, like 15 bucks. I got one, two, three, four. Five. And I might I might even have I might even have a little for some reason I think I have a I could tell you that right um at that location Yeah I have another that's the thing that's what um I stopped at another um which is it I I'm just putting that video together with that. I stopped at another thrift store that was um I don't know if it was service oriented um as far as the mill but it was, it was actually it was right across the street from the Goodwill. It was so weird because I drove up the street and drove up to Walmart and had to waste some time, got lunch at Burger King. And I came, I put it in thrift stores and it came right down. It was right across the street. But obviously I didn't recognize the name, but I got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Well, 27, because the two ba the bags were $1.49. So I got a total of 27 items for $100.19 and the tax $5.32, if you can see it right there. So $100.18 for 27 items. So, I mean, do the quick math. Even, well, it, it roughly $4.00. Even with the tax of five bucks, so a hundred dollars twenty, you know, twenty-seven. I it's roughly four dollars and twenty-five cents for all all these items, and um, with fifty percent of the twelve of the items being worth twenty-five dollars a piece, so roughly a hundred dollars and uh, twelve of them are are worth um, about three hundred three hundred fifty dollars. Even with the other, uh, honestly. I should be able to turn this hundred dollars into five hundred dollars, which I think is a good deal. So uh, I don't think I made my thumbnail. Maybe I'll, I'll title it one hundred into five hundred dollars. And um, I, 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 I feel like I, obviously, you know, I, I wouldn't pick them if I didn't think I would make money on them. But I think I did pretty good. But you guys can comment below. Tell me what you think. And uh, I like offering a variety of items, and I'm not afraid to go out. I love if I can find these all the time for five bucks and flip them for twenty five, and go and price go and price this stuff even brand new at this. Uh, uh, you know, you go to Walmart and sometimes you buy those sets for a hundred dollars that are junk. You know, you get a little bit of heat and the handle breaks right off and stuff. Quality good cookware is worth its money. Uh, that's welded on and will last for a long, long time. And obviously, it makes it easier to clean and, and stuff like that. I know when I had my own restaurant, we used to buy some. I mean, it was nothing to spend a hundred dollars on a on a cook pot. So, all right, hey, I do appreciate it. My name is Pat Dees, and if you guys could give me thumb thumbs up and comment below, please comment below because it helps. It helps the video. So I appreciate your support, and I'll see you again on the next video.